Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. For this video, I'm going to be reacting to this video. Um, you people draws controversy over culture clash plot. Um, I saw the movie. It was okay. It's like just a cheesy rom com, I guess. But um, yeah, people complain about everything. So, <laughs> like, even if the movie was had a different plot, people would still complain about it because everyone's always trying to complain about something these days. But um, yeah, I saw the movie and it's kind of unrealistic, like the way they got back together. But um, yeah, it was like okay, the movie was okay. Like, I don't think it's gonna be nominated for anything, but <laughs> it was like. A nice movie to see and also um yeah like i said before like people are gonna p complain about anything these days so um let's see what they're complaining about specifically but yeah let's get into this video and please subscribe let me know what else i should react to in the comments below let's get right to our cover story and the star-studded rom-com proving to be popular on streaming but this morning some critics are taking aim at the culture clash portrayed in the movie check it out this morning, so many people would. But I don't know why why they're complaining because this is like realistic. Like sometimes people don't like who the uh, the other person is dating. Like their family doesn't like who they're dating. So why are people complaining? Like this is a real topic in real life. So I don't understand. So much to say about you people. But you're not getting five stars. The film from Kenya Barris and Jonah Hill stars Hill alongside Lauren London in an opposites attract rom-com debuting at number one at Netflix with almost immediate criticism. Barris says he anticipated. I know some of the jokes are funny. <laughs> Drake's baby looks like Kenya Barris produced it. The Guardian saying you people was dismissed by black Twitter early on as yet another manifestation of Barris's obsession with his own mixed race heritage. For me, okay. that is the criticism that, you know, I true truthfully sort of I understand it and I think that you take the good with the bad. Harper's Bazaar saying London admits as much and that the duo's on-screen pairing is all about a soul connection and the film sparking debate over the portrayals of Hill's character Ezra and his liberal Jewish parents played by heavy hitters Julia Louis-Dreyfus and David Duchovny. You know what um in this movie like I feel like um I don't know the characters' names, and I don't really remember the actors' names either because I'm bad at remembering names. But um, the girl, what's her name? Lauren London. Um, I feel like on her family side, um, Eddie Murphy was like the main parent. Like uh, Nia Long was in the movie, but not that much. And also on uh, Jonah Hill's family side, um, his mom, Julia Louis-Dreyfus. She was like the main parent in this movie because like you didn't really see David Duchovny that much. So, yeah, that was interesting. Like both of the parents are famous actors, but you didn't really see like his dad and you didn't really see her mom that much. So, yeah. That was kind of interesting to me. And pause over race relations between London's character, Amina, and her black Muslim <coughs> parents, played by the legendary Eddie Murphy and Nia Long. Netflix was really supportive about sort really? of being honest, being, you know, it's the oppression Olympics between blacks and Jews, like who had it worse? And like that was sort of in the script and they really were supportive. It just felt good to see that those very real feelings uh, and awkwardness brought to the screen and obviously humor allows you to tiptoe towards those subjects and to get into them why do you think that that's so effective um i don't know i, I used to always say comedy is like medicine with a little sugar salon saying ezra and amina may get married but this movie spends a lot of time letting us know they shouldn't work in defense of the film, Andrew Lawrence writes in The Guardian, as idol entertainment, you people does the job of providing a fun escape. Why is that so hard to buy? I've talked to a lot of people about this movie who are excited to see it. Obviously, it's been so popular on Netflix. Um, it has been interesting to just see the criticism around it, uh, but I did enjoy talking to Kenya Bears. For it. sure. Yeah. Certainly an interesting conversation, too. Yeah. But, yeah, this is weird because people complain about everything, so... I don't know. If you don't want to watch it, then don't watch it. <laughs> like, no one is forcing you to watch it. So, and even if you watch it and you didn't like it, then I guess it's your opinion. But 
don't know. There's so many people that just like to express everything that they see, everything that they think, but ain't nobody care about everything you have to say. But uh, anyway, that's in this video. Uh, no matter what you say, no matter what you do, someone's going to criticize it. So just just do you. But uh, anyway, that's in this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Let me know what else I should react to. Let me know in the comments below. <laughs> uh, if you want to see my experiences in Korea, you can check out my first channel, Sexy V. And if you want to see my other socials, it's right here under my face. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.